From a young age, authority figures pervade our lives. Parents telling us to clean our rooms, professors assigning essays. Would we be as inclined to follow these directions if a robot was in charge? Hi, welcome to class. Robots have already been tested in positions of power, such as the NOW robot, which has been used to teach students. But scientists haven't deeply explored how bots and authority positions can influence human decision-making. To test this human-robot interaction, researchers used Pepper, a roughly one-meter-tall robot with a human-like face. They created two different study groups, those who were Pepper's peers and those who were under Pepper's direction. The researchers gave Pepper both formal and real authority. Formal authority comes from social roles in specific contexts. The scientists established Pepper as an authority figure using several tactics. The robot was the only presence in the room and used possessive language. We'll get started. My name is Pepper and I'm glad you could join me. Real authority is tied to control over decision making, such as financial incentives. Pepper administered tests under two conditions. A reward. I will reward you a dollar for a correct guess and the reward will shrink by 25 cents for each floor your guess is on. And a punishment. I will punish you 25 cents for each number you are off to a maximum of one dollar. Under the peer condition, a human laid out the instructions, punishments, and rewards. Okay, here we go. Next, participants completed challenging memory tasks. After the participants' guess, Pepper offered a suggestion, the correct response. I think I counted six. Okay, personally, I counted seven police stations. Participants had to decide whether to stick to their initial answer or take Pepper's advice. Now, what is the final guess you would like to walk in? Mm, yeah, I'll, I'll go with seven. I'm not sure, so... The researchers measured Pepper's persuasiveness by calculating how the suggested guess influenced the final answer. Participants also completed a survey at the end of the study, where they rated statements about Pepper on a seven-point scale. The researchers found that Pepper was more persuasive in a peer setting than in an authority role, which differs from observations seen in human-to-human -human interactions. Participants were also more likely to take the robot's suggestions when rewards were offered. I got the same location. This might be because participants viewed Pepper's advice as less risky than their own, and as a well-suited task for a robot to complete. These results could guide how people design robots, as more of a helper to accomplish a task rather than a formal authority figure. The next time you run into a robot, it may have the art of persuasion nailed down.